Alright, so we're back with the next part of the Madara pixel art tutorial remake. We're going to go ahead and start off with the black wool. And we're going to head over here to the left. We're going to find the three black wools that we have here going across. We're going to start off uh, by starting from the right side of it. So starting from there, of these three, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's uh, one. Then two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's uh, one, two. And now we're going to switch over to the placement block, put a placement block on the right side of these two black walls, put one placement block there. Switch over to the black wall, place one block on top of the placement block, one block on the right side of the placement block, and we're going to be adding two sets of two, starting underneath the placement, two sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And we're going to be leaving the placement block right here. So that placement block that we just placed there, you're going to be leaving it so we don't get confused when we're doing the time lapse. We're going to get rid of it in the future part, but right now, I need you to leave this here. Okay, now let's go back over here to the left, going back to where we started from these three black walls. We're going to start on top of the middle blocks, starting from there. What we're going to be doing from here is placing six sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, and one, two, six. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Only these, not that one. Let's head back up here. And now we're going to switch over to the placement block. Put a placement block on top of the black wall. Let's put one placement there. Uh, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to be placing one black wall on the right side. One black wall on top of it. And adding two black walls to the left side of it. So that's one, two. And we're going to be leaving this placement block here. Again, same thing with down there. Just leave this here. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. I remember to leave that placement block there, like I said. <laughs> and from this one block, we're going to be placing, from here, three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to be adding one black wool underneath the left block of these three. So add one black wool there underneath the left. And then add one block going down to the left from it. So that's one. Next, we're going to head back up here, starting on top of the middle block of these three. So starting from there, we're going to be placing three blocks, or not three, sorry. We're going to be placing two blocks going at diagonal up to the right, starting on top of the middle. So that's one and two. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one and two. Let's go to that placement block. And now we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces right here with the black ones. So fill these two in. Now let's go back up here to the two, and starting from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Now we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And similar to what we just did down there with that placement block, we're going to be switching over to the placement block. Put a placement block on top of the two black holes here. Let's put one placement block there. Switch over to the black wool, add one black wool to the right side of the placement, add one black wool on top of the placement, and on the left side of it, you're going to be adding two black wools going to the left, so that's one and two. And we're going to keep this placement block here, so just make sure to not break that. So let's go back over here to the left, starting from this block, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's one. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to uh, start from, uh, well, I guess we're going to be placing another two blocks going across on the lower level to the to the left. So that's one, two. Next, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now starting on top of the left block of these two, starting from there, we're going to be adding four blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back up here. Now from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. 
And before we continue, let's head all the way back down here to the right for a bit. Let's go all the way back down here. And we're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here with the black. Well, let's go and fill this in with black. Now, once you've done that, we're going to head all the way back up, going back to where we left off with the four up here. So from there, we're going to be placing seven blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, once you've done that, switch over to the placement block, add a placement block on the left side of the seven. So add one placement block there. Switch over to the black wool starting underneath the placement. So from there, we're going to be adding four black wools going to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement now. Now, let's start underneath the left block of these four black wools. So starting from there, we're going to be adding two blocks going to the left. So that's one and two. So it's a linked block, so it should look like this. Once you've done that, switch over to the placement block. Head back up here to the seven black walls, starting on top of the left block of it. So from there, we're going to be adding two placements going to the right, so that's one and two. Switch over to the black walls, starting on the right side of these two placements. Right there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back up here. From here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now one block going up. That's one. And now two blocks going across, upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement. Head back up here. And from here we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four. Next, you're going to be placing six blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Head back over here, get rid of the placement. Switch back over to the placement block, starting on top of the left block of these six. So starting from there, we're going to be adding two blocks going to the right. So that's one, two. Switch over to the black wool, add one black wool on the right side of these two placements. So that's one black wool. Get rid of the placements. Starting from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing three sets of threes going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, and one, two, three, three. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back up here. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. Next, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now place two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. Next, we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, and four. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back up here. Switch over to the placement block. We're going to be adding two placements going to the left. So that's one and two. Switch over to the black wool, starting on top of the placement. So starting from there, we're going to be adding six black wools going to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's head back over here, get rid of those placements. Head back to the right. And now from here, we're going to be placing two sets of fours going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, one, and one, two, three, four, two. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back over here. And we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three. So it should look exactly like this so far. We had those six blocks to the right, two sets of fours to the right, and we had these three black walls to the right. Okay, now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And now place four blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be placing seven blocks going up on the left. So we're switching sides going up on the left, seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next, we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to switch over to the placement block, starting from the top block on the right side of the black wool. Starting from there, we're going to be adding one placement block, so that's one. Switch over to the black wool, starting underneath the placement. Starting from there, we're going to be placing seven black wools going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, and seven. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And let's go back up here. We're going to be filling in this small spot that's right here with the black walls. Fill this in. Now let's head back down here. Starting from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one and two. And now we're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back down here. And from here, we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. Now we're going to be starting on top of the right block of these four black walls. So we're going to be starting from there on top. We're going to be adding two black walls going to the left. That's one and two. Next, we're going to start on top of the right block of these two black walls. Starting from there, we're going to be placing a linked set of two sets of twos. So starting from there, linked set of two sets of twos. If you don't know what that is, just watch me first. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. So it should look exactly like this. Make sure to pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Okay, making sure that it looks like this. What we're going to be doing next is placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back up here, switch over to the placement block, put a placement block on top of the black wool, so that's one. Switch over to the black wool, starting on the right side of the placement, so from there we're going to be adding three black wools going down, so that's one, two, and three. Let's head back up, get rid of the placement block, head back down here. Now from here we're going to be placing seven blocks going down on the left, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's head back up, get rid of the placement, head back down here, and from here we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two sets of fours going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, one. And one, two, three, four, two. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back over here to the right, switch over to the placement block, put a placement block underneath the right block of these three black walls, put one placement block there underneath the right, and switch back over to the uh, black wall. Starting on the left side of the placement, we're going to be adding two black walls going down, so that's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going down to the left, that's one. And now place two sets of twos going down on the left. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. And now place two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. Now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now place two blocks going down on the right. So we're switching sides, going down to the right too. So that's one and two. Next, we're going to be switching, or we're going to, not switching, but we're going to be placing three black walls going down on the right. That's one, two, three. And now place two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing th uh, two sets of threes going down on the right. Two sets of threes. So that's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back down here. And from here, we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing a linked three blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three. That's a linked three. And now place one block going down to the right. That's one. Now let's head back up here, going back to the bottom block of these four black walls, going back to the four blocks, starting from the bottom on the left, we're going to be adding one placement block, so that's one, whoops, that's one, there we go. Switch over to the black wall, starting on top of the placement, so from there we're going to be adding two black walls going diagonal up to the left, so that's one and two. Let's get rid of those placements. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left, that's one, two. And now place one block going up to the left. That's one. 
Now from this one block, we're going to be placing it th uh, from here. We're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left at one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two sets of six going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements. Head back down here. And now from here, we're going to be placing 11 blocks going down on the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's head back up. Get rid of the placement block. Head back down. And now starting from the bottom block of these 11, we're going to be placing a double linked four black wolves going uh, down on the right. It doesn't, it's not a regular, but it's double uh, four. So instead of starting from here as a linked, it's a double, so we start one extra above. So there we go, starting from there. That's a double linked four. So that's one, two, three, and four. So it should look like this. And now we're going to head back to the bottom block of these 11. So starting from there, we're going to be placing 11 black goals going down on the left. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's head back up here. Go to the placement block. And let's head back down. And from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's 1 and 2. And since we're here, let's just quickly switch over to the nether brick. So switch over to the nether brick, and we're going to be placing one nether brick on top of both of these black walls. So one nether brick on top of that black wall, and one nether brick on top of that black wall. So it looks like that. Alright, so what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the placement block. Let's head back to the bottom block of these 11 black walls, starting on the right side. So from there, we're going to be adding three placements going up. That's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be switching over to the black wool, starting on top of the placement. We're going to be placing 10 black wools going diagonal down to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 10. So let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And let's head back down here. And now from here, we're going to be placing... Uh, from here, uh, three sets of twos going down on the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's head back down here, and from here we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. And now we're going to be placing three sets of threes going down on the right. That's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two, and one, two, three, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back down here, and we're going to be placing eight blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing nine blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And that was the moment of truth. The nine blocks should be making contact with the placement block that we put here on the right side at the beginning of part one. So again, it should be making contact with that. And if it is, you're doing everything correctly so far. All right, so now that we've done that, what we're going to be doing is switching over to the placement block. Uh, we're going to start from uh, the bottom block of these nine here. And we're going to be adding two placement blocks going to the left, so that's one and two. Switch over to the black wool, add one black wool on the left side, so that's one. Let's get rid of the placements now. Now starting from this one block, we're going to be placing seven blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's head back down, get rid of the placements. Let's head back up here. And from here we're going to be placing five blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Head back down, get rid of the placement. And before we go on, starting from the middle block, so find the middle block of these five, okay? Find the middle of the five, and we're going to be placing one black wool on the right side of the five, so put one black wool there for the middle on the right. And then you're going to be placing one black wool going up to the right. So that's one. Okay, now once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the nether brick, and we're going to be adding one nether brick underneath both of these black wool. So one nether brick underneath that black wool, and one nether brick underneath that black wool. 
Once you've done that, switch over to the black wall again, starting from the top block of these five here. So from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two, three. Fly down here, get rid of that placement. Switch over to the nether brick, starting from the middle block on the left side of these three, which is going to be adding one nether brick, or not the middle, sorry, from the top block, from the top block of these three on the left side, right there, we're going to be adding one nether brick. So that's one. So it should look like this, again, from the top. And now switch over to the black wool, add one black wool underneath the nether brick, so add one black wool there, so it should look like this, okay? And now one black, uh, or not just one, but we're going to be adding two black wools going up on the, on top of the nether brick, so that's one and two. And now starting on the left side, we're going to be adding two black wools going to the left, that's one and two, so it should look like this. Let's head back up here, back to the the two here, uh, we're going to start from the top block, we're going to be adding two blocks going up on the left from it, so that's one and two. Next, we're going to be switching over to the nether brick, we're going to be adding one nether brick on top, so that's one, so it should look like this. And now we're going to be switching over to the black, starting on the left side of the nether brick, from there we're going to be adding three blocks going up, that's one, two, three. And now we're going to be adding one black wool on top of the nether brick, so that's one. And from this one black wool, we're going to be placing four blacks going up on the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Let's head back down, get rid of the placement block. And now we're going to be switching over to the nether brick, and we're going to be adding one nether brick underneath the four black wool, so add one nether brick there. And from that one block, we're going to be placing four nether bricks going up on the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. And it should look exactly like this. Let's switch back over to the black wall, head back to these three here, starting from the top block of it. We're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. So that's one and two. Next, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placements. And now switch over to the nether brick, starting from the middle block of these three, we're going to be adding one nether brick underneath the, underneath the black wall, so add one nether brick there. Uh, switch back over to the black wall, starting underneath, again, that nether brick was underneath the middle, just to make that clear. Uh, starting underneath the nether brick with the black wall, we're going to be adding three blocks going down, so that's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing five blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. Go to that placement, head back down here. And now from here, we're going to be placing 13 blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and 13. Let's head back up here, get rid of the placement. Head back down here, and starting from the bottom block of the 13, we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. And now place one black wool going down to the right. That's one. And we're going to head back over here to the four blacks, starting underneath the left block of these four black wools. So starting from there, we're going to be adding three black wools going down. So that's one, two, and three. Now, once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the nether brick. Now, with the nether brick, we're going to be filling in three empty spaces with the nether brick. Uh, so or not nether brick, sorry, with the nether rack. Okay, where's the nether rack? Uh, or not nether rack, what am I saying? Nether brick, okay. <laughs> I'm losing my mind, all right. So with the nether brick, we're gonna be uh, filling in this empty space, this empty space, and this empty space right here. These three empty spaces here get filled in with the nether brick. So let's go ahead and do that now. Just fill all of these in with nether brick. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, fill this in real time. And although the reason why I was saying nether brick is because I was just done with the pixel art that involved using nether brick. Or not nether, well, yeah, I guess nether brick. Mostly nether brick, not that much uh, nether rack. What was it? It was Kylo Ren. <laughs> That's the pixel art that I was using nether rack in. All right, so there we go. When we're done filling those three empty spaces in with the nether brick, we're going to go ahead and uh, continue the outline now. So switch over to the black wool. Let's head back up here. Going back to the three that we left off, starting from the top block of the three, so from this block, we're going to be placing two black wools going up on the left. That's one, two. 
And now we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. So three diagonal. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back up here. And we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Now once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the oak wood, and with the oak wood, I like the patterns to go downwards, as if they were growing from the ground. I don't like them like that. I mean, you can place them like that, but I kind of like the patterns like this, where the lines show they're going down. And what we're going to be doing with the oak wood, starting on the left side of the black wool, so I'm going to start it off like this, to be honest. Starting on the left side of these two black wools, we're going to be adding four oak woods going down, so that's one, two three and four so it should look like that and once you've done that you're going to be placing two oak woods going down on the left that's one and two and now starting from the top block of these two oak woods on the left or starting from the top block right there we're going to be placing a, a six oak woods going up on the left so that's one two three four five six now again you don't have to have the oak woods facing upwards like this i just prefer them like this because they look better that way in my opinion there's so there we go we're gonna be now switching over to the black wool for just a moment and with the black wool we're gonna start from the top block of these four oak woods we had going down starting from there we're gonna be adding one black wool going up to the left so that's one and while we're at it let's just fill in this small space right here with the black wool let's just fill this in with black there we go. Once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the red wool now. So let's switch over to the red. And we're going to start on top of these six oak woods. So starting from there, we're going to be adding four red wools going up. That's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, switch back over to the black wool. And we're going to be adding uh, four black wools on top of these four red wools. So that's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing nine black wools going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now we're going to be switching over to the nether brick. We're going to be adding a, a three nether bricks on top of these nine black wools. So that's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be switching back over to the red wool. We're going to start from the top block of these nine black wool. So, starting off from the top block of the nine on the right side, so starting from there, we're going to be adding three red wools going down. So, that's one, two, and three. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the nether brick. We're going to head back down here, going back to these four black wools that we placed on top of those four red wools, starting on top of the four black wools. So, from there, we're going to be adding 13 nether bricks going up. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 13 blocks. Now we're going to switch over to the red wool, and we're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here. Fill this in with a red wool. And just fill that up. There we go. And once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the oak planks. So let's switch over to the oak planks now. And we're going to head back down here, going back to the bottom block of the six oak woods. Now with the oak planks starting from the bottom block, we're going to be placing two blocks going down the left. That's one and two. And now place one block going down to the right. That's one. Now we're going to switch over to the black. We'll just fill in this empty space here with the black. Fill that in. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the pink wool for just a moment. And with the pink wool starting from the top block of these two oak woods over here on the left side. So from there, we're going to be adding two pinks going to the left. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, we're going to head back down here, going to this oak plank. Underneath it, we're going to be adding one pink wool. So that's one. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four. So back up, get rid of that placement. Head back down here. And we're going to be placing one pink wool going down to the right. That's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the black wool. And with the black wool starting on the left side of this one pink, so from there, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left, starting from there. So that's one, two, one. And one, two, two. 
Once you've done that, switch over to the oak plank, starting on the left side of these two black wools. So from there, we're going to be adding four oak planks going down. So that's one, two, three, four. Head back up here. Starting from the top block on the left side of these four oaks, we're going to be adding one oak to the left. So that's one. Now we're going to be switching over to the black wool. Add one black wool underneath the oak plank. So that's one. And now switch over to the pink. Add one pink underneath the black. So that's one. And then switch back over to the black, add one black on the left side of this pink. So that's one. And it should look exactly like this. Now what we're going to be doing is switching back over to the pink wool. We're going to head back over here. Uh, we're going to go to these two right here. Go to these two black wools. We're going to start underneath the left block, starting from there. We're going to be adding four pink wools going to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. Once you've done that, let's head back over here to the left, going to these two black wools. And underneath these two black wools, we're going to be placing two pink wools going across underneath it. So that's one and two. So it should look like that. Now let's head back over here to the right, going back to these four pinks. Underneath the right block, we're going to be adding just one pink. So that's one. And now place five blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. Head back up, get rid of that placement. Head back down here. And now we're going to be placing six blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Head back up, get rid of that placement. Head back down here. And from here, we're going to be switching over to the red wool. And we're going to be adding eight red wools going down underneath the six pinks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it should be making contact with the ground. So it should look like this. Now we're going to head back up here. Going back to the, the six pink wools that are on top of these eight here. Uh, that are on top of the eight red wools. So going back to the six pink wools. We're going to be switching over to the gray wool for this next part for just a bit. So switch over to the gray. We're going to start from the top block on the right side of these six pinks. So from there, it's going to be a linked. It's going to be a linked five grays going up on the right. So that's one, two, three, Four, five. That's five grays. And now we're going to be placing six grays going up on the going up on the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now my mic wire is getting caught up in my controller. There we go. So when you're done placing those outlines, everything should look exactly like this so far. So now we're going to head over here to the right. We're going to be doing some outlining so we can go ahead and fill in most of these areas. We're going to start off by uh, switching over to a placement block and putting a placement block all the way down here, all the way to the bottom right, the very bottom right corner of the pixel art. So put one placement block there next to the nine black walls. We're going to switch over to the pink wall now. And on top of these, uh, or on top of this <laughs> placement, we're going to be adding eight pink walls going up. So that's one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. Let's fly down, get rid of that placement. Head back up here. And then from here, we're going to be placing two pinks going up on the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to switch over to the oak plank, and we're going to be adding three oak planks going up. So that's one, two, three. Switch back over to the pink wall. Starting on top of the oak, we're going to be placing three sets of threes going up on the left. So that's one, two, three, one with pink. One, two, three, two, and one, two, three, three. And now we're going to be placing one pink wool going up to the left. That's one. Now switch over to the oak plank, and we're going to be placing two oak planks going up on top of the pink, so that's one and two. And now place one oak plank going up to the left. That's one. And now switch back over to the pink, and we're going to be placing two pinks going up on the left. That's one and two. And now we're going to switch over to the red wool. And now with the red wool, starting from the top block on the left side of the pink. So we're going to start from there. We're going to be placing two reds going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And now one block going up to the left. That's one. 
And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And now switch back over to the pink wool, starting on top of the two red wools right there, starting from there with the pink. We're going to be placing seven blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And once you've done that, we're going to head back down here to the right. We're going to be filling in this empty space here in between the red and the black wool, right here, the spot. Fill this in with the pink wool, so let's go and fill this in now. So now I'm going to fly back a bit, so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. So now we're going to be doing a little time lapse, at least for me, and we're going to be filling in some large areas. First things first, we're going to, uh, let's just put away all of these blocks. Let me just put away, give me one second so we can get a little organized and there won't be any confusion. The blocks you're going to be needing for this filling in part are the black wool and the red wool. So just put those two in your inventory. It's going to be the last thing we do in this tutorial part. So the first thing we're going to be filling in uh, to make this easier is just going to be the red wool. And it involves the three empty spaces to the far right. So it's going to be this. It's going to be this empty space here, this empty space here, and this empty space up here. These three get filled in with the red wool. And then once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the black wool. And you're going to be filling in this entire empty space that's right here, staying within the outline. You're going to be filling in this empty space here with black wool. Again, I recommend starting off with the red wool so there's less confusion. Fill those three empty with red, and then fill this with black. So go ahead and do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and continue my mandata in the next part this tutorial remake and uh, ever since the new update when it comes to the type of textures and colors for the blocks the red wool just looks amazing and that goes for the other uh, wool colors as well and uh, just seeing it on my very first pixel art that I ever did for YouTube and all that stuff uh, it's just bringing some nostalgia kind of feelings back just memories of this my making my very first pixel art and it just looks better since the update with the colors Alright, <laughs> anyways, before I go, I just want to give a quick shout out to my gamer tag, which is called Felix Guaman YT. You guys can go ahead and send me a message and add me, and while you're on the Xbox Live, make sure to check out my Pixel Art Club. It's dedicated to Pixel Arts, to where you have made, whether watching from my tutorials, or other people's tutorials, or a Pixel Arts that you've created all on your own. It's the best place for me to check those Pixel Arts out, all in one place, so be sure to follow and request to become a member, and also be sure to be on the lookout for live streams. I'm trying to live stream more Pixel Arts, and uh, interact with you guys to see... Uh, <laughs> how uh, I'm doing and you can see the pixel arts being created for the first time before they become showcases and then later on tutorials and time lapses. So with all that being said make sure to stay tuned in for the next part of the Madara pixel art tutorial remake and make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos. <laughs>